everyone. Welcome to day two of Oil Resort for Symphony of the Cells and Aroma Touch Technique. Today we're going to dive into the Symphony of the Cells technique. I'm really excited to share this one with you. This is one as a mom of littles I find myself using and gravitating towards very frequently. I love that it's something that we can apply to ourselves, but also to our children. So today I'm going to go over how you can administer the Symphony of the Cells technique to both yourself and to other people. For the sake of showing you, I have a very special assistant today that's going to show, help me to show you where to apply the oils along the spine. So I'll be using this little baby doll to help out. Um, but what I want to show you is how you can apply the oils to yourself and to other people. A couple of logistical things to keep in mind before we dive into Symphony of the Cells. Symphony of the Cells is designed to bring the body into a state of homeostasis and to get all of the cells working in symphony with each other, hence the name. There's a couple of things to keep in mind before jumping right into this. Oils can only work so much if the body is deficient in key vitamins and nutrients and minerals. So if you were to attend the training of Symphony of the Cells by Boyd Truman, what he really advocates for in that training is to make sure that you're taking the lifelong vitality pack for a while prior to doing the symphony of the cells technique. Now, why is this? This allows our body to get that key level of foundational nutrients, the vitamins, so that our, our cells are able to get to that that place of working in symphony. So if you haven't done so yet, make sure that you're taking the lifelong vitality just for that overall foundation of, of health and wellness. You know, with the symphony of the cells, there's the three different bottles. So you're getting your multivitamin, your omega, and then the alpha CRS helps with cellular repair and support again, to help with that symphony aspect. So that is one thing. Make sure you check out Lifelong Vitality. The other part of um, the foundation that, that Boyd Truman talks about is making sure that you're taking Terrazyme and Zendocrine. Zendocrine is going to help the body's detox system. So as you're helping to, to get the body functioning, it's going to need some additional support with the detox pathways. So Zendocrine is, is great as well as Terrazyme. So Terrazyme being the digestive enzyme. And what he talks about in his training is that everyone, once we are taking lifelong vitality, getting those digestive enzymes, getting those detox pathways open, we're really setting our body up to maximize the benefits of symphony of the cells. So I just wanted to start off with that. Now, symphony of the cells is a layering technique designed to be implemented once every three-ish days. So you're going to choose your protocol that makes the most sense for whatever health specific concern you have going on, or if you just want to focus on an area, you're going to choose that protocol. You're going to notice that there is a graphic right within the My Event Cafe, so you can see all of the oils that are suggested. Once you get that protocol, you choose your protocol, then you're going to start administering the oils. It's, it's pretty simple. As you're going through the manual, I have an older one here, but you're going to notice there's some pictures next to each of, of the um, oils listed. So you have your oils listed and then there's some images right next to them. You're going to notice a spine, the nose and the feet. Those are the primary ones to kind of take note of in this protocol. So as we're applying the, the oils and the protocol, so you're first going to notice um, typically most of them start off with frankincense. So if you're applying the oils to someone that has been already using oils, is comfortable with them, is healthy, you're going to apply closer to eight to 10 drops of the oil. If you're working with a younger person or someone with sensitive skin, someone that's really working through some key health issues, you're going to use less of the oils. Their body is just going to be more impacted or more um, sensitive to the intensity of the oils if they're in that lower um, health energetic field or if they're at a younger age. So once you take the oil, you're going to notice most of the protocols start out with frankincense. So you're going to apply your drops of oils along the spine. Typically frankincense is the first one. You're going to rub it in. Okay. So rub it in and then you're going to just notice um, in that little mini video that you'll, you'll see, they kind of move back and forth. So you're just making sure that it's, it's touching all of the back 
a little bit in this kind of crook in the neck, rubbing it in there. Okay, now you're gonna have some residue on your hand. You'll notice that there's a picture of a nose right next to the oil. So we first applied to the spine. That's the image of the spine. Now, if they're, the person is on a massage table, there's a kind of an opening right here. So it's an easy transition. So you've applied the oils. Now you're just gonna hold your hand right below their nose so they can smell that oil. That's gonna trigger that olfactory system. So they get that emo the emotional response as well. And then there's still a little bit of residue. You're gonna move down to the feet and rub that residue on the bottoms of the feet. Why the spine and the bottoms of the feet? There's a lot of um, nerves in these two areas. We have the, the spinal column and also the feet. So applying to these areas really focuses in on creating that systemic response of the oils to travel throughout the whole entire body. So you have the spine, the bottoms of the feet. Then you're gonna apply the carrier oil Typically we use fractionated coconut oil. It just dilutes the intensity of the oil and fractionated means that it doesn't have those greasy molecules. So you're not gonna feel really greasy afterwards. If you don't have fractionated coconut oil, you can use any other type of, of oil. You can use avocado oil, jojoba oil, almond, um, olive oil. Just know that you're gonna have a little bit of a greasier residue on that. So you're applying those. Now, with children or someone that has more sensitive skin, you're gonna need more of a carrier oil. If at any point during symphony of the cells, it starts to be un become uncomfortable, especially if you're using hotter oils, just apply more of the coconut oil. We know conceptually oil and water do not mix, but when someone is experiencing some discomfort, we sometimes wanna just jump on and, and wipe it off. That will intensify that experience. So instead, grab your fractionated coconut oil or your carrier oil and just add more to the area that's experiencing that intense sensation. So then you're gonna go down the list. So then if you grab the next oil, you do your drop, 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 rub it in, go up here, rub it in, have them smell it, rub it on the bottom of the feet. Next oil, rub it in, drop, allow them to smell bottoms of the feet. And you're just going to go through the entire protocol. There are some you'll notice in the beginning of the manual that encourage maybe to put a hot compress on them, not all of them. So you're going to want to resort to the manual in that. You can get these man the manual with the protocols on symphonyofthecells.com. So you can see the full specifics, the health concerns that can be targeted with that. Um, for the sake of compliance, we're not listing them within this group. So you'll want to get the manual so that you can can we can stay compliant and you can get the full benefit from having that manual. Okay, so that is the symphony of the cells technique. If you are looking to apply the oils, maybe you don't have someone to um, apply the symphony of the cells technique to you, what you'll do is put the oils on your hand, rub your hands together. You're gonna apply them on the upper shoulders, on the lower back, breathe them in, apply them on the spine, okay? So those, that would be how you can do it to yourself. Go through the same fashion as you would if someone else was applying it. You're just going to go through that list. Okay. What about in the, in between Boyd Truman recommends finding three of the oils that are safe for internal use from the protocol that you've chosen to take internally. So if I'm doing the lymphatic protocol, for example, some of the oils that are listed are frankincense, lemon, grapefruit. Those are three oils that are intended to be taken internally as well. So in between my protocol, so if I'm doing that protocol once every three days on the in-between, I would be taking those oils internally just to help to continue to support the body and get those oils into symphony. Now, what he suggests is you do the protocol once every three days, do it for a month. If you have two different protocols that you want to focus in on, you could do the first one for a month and then go to the next one, or you could do day one. Uh, you could do protocol one, three days later, you could do protocol two, three days later, protocol one, three days later, protocol two, and stretch it out across two months if, if needed. And you can continue to reassess if you have chronic things going on, maybe you wanna do it for two months regardless, or you just keep keep continuing to administer it but you can change up the protocols as well. Uh, maybe you have something hormonally, you try the hormone protocol and then decide, actually, I need to do the inflammatory protocol. You can change it up, but just keep in mind, 
Lifelong Vitality, Zendocrine, and Terrazyme are really going to help to support that key foundation. And now with the addition of MetaPower, you can take that collagen and add that in because that's just only going to support the cells. We, we know now about the benefits of NMN and their benefits to the cells. So that's only going to support this cellular symphony response. So make sure you check out the other oil resorts so you can deepen your understanding on those aspects. But that is it for symphony of the cells. It's a really great protocol. It's easy to do on your children. If you have littles or if you have um, family members that could benefit, it's just a, it's a great way to receive and share the benefits of essential oils. So thanks for joining in and we'll see you tomorrow for Aroma Touch.